Alright, so in the last tutorial we wrote our code so that we can pick up hearts and gain hit points. So now we're going to make this a little bit more fun. Um, we're going to change the text to make it colorful or pretty or wavy um, and just add some cool little effects for when you pick up health. So if you remember from last time, um, we have an if statement here where if your health um, is already at max health, which we've defined as 10, so if HP is greater than or equal to 10, you have full health already. So we're not increasing the health anymore, nothing cool or fun happens. But if you um, still need to heal and you're picking up health, um, we wrote some different options um, of, of dialogue that the heart can say when you pick it up. So we wrote three, I've added two more, um, and let's just give you a recap of what this looks like when you play it. So your hit points went up, and then it tells you how many hit points you have. Hit points went up again. You have seven. Your hit points went up again. Wow. You have eight. Amazing. More health. You have nine hit points. You're glowing with health. You have ten hit points. And then everything after that um, is just going to have the same. You have full health already dialogue. Um, it's not going to tell you anything special after that. So now let's make this a little bit more fun. Um, so I'm going to make these colorful. So what I'm going to do um, is type in this command, color1. So this stands for color1, so open bracket, clr1, close bracket. And I'm going to put that at the beginning and at the end of the text that I want to be that color. So what this is going to do is this is just going to turn what is in between those two commands, um, whatever the first color in my palette is. So let's play and see what that looks like. Your points went up. So that's a little bit dark because the first color in my palette is that dark purple that's our background, but that's okay. That's still pretty cool. So let's see what happens um, if we have color two in here. Um, so that's color two. And then I think there's a color three, so let's try color three. And again, I'm just placing the command that I want right before and right after the text that I want to be impacted. So now we have color one, color two, and color three. So the first three um, dialogue options in our sequence should be fancy now. Your hit points went up, you have six hit points. Hit points went up again, you have seven. Again, wow. Okay, so it looks like um, color two in our palette is just white. So actually, let's go ahead and change the color palette a little bit. Um, just so we have something a little bit more fun. Um, let's see what happens now. Okay, so we still have that um, color purple. And now we have this blue, because now our second color in our palette is this nice blue color. Now the third color should be this kind of peachy. It is awesome. Um, so you can adjust your color palette um, based on which colors you want, but, but just know that the color 1 is always going to be your background, color 2 will be your tile, color 3 will be your sprite. So you want this to both look good in the world that you're using and in your dialogue, and that can be kind of, um, as you can see, a challenge. It takes a little bit of time to get those colors right. So I would not recommend using the colors that I've chosen, but play around and see what looks good to you. Um, but there's two others that I want to show you. Um, and they are the wavy command, and there's a rainbow command. So let's start with the wavy. Um, and I think that this is how you do it, is WVY. Um, but if it's not, then we'll check. Actually, yeah, let's, let's check. So if I, go, if I hide this code, um, and I put just random dialogue in here. Um, okay, yeah, so there's wavy, there's shaky, um, and then there's rainbow. Okay, so let's remember these. So I'll, um, actually I'll create one more option. Um, let's actually increase this a little bit. So let's say that it's, um, maybe our max health is 15 now. Um, actually, I think that's all that we have. Maybe let's increase it to 12. Cause I just want to be able to get this last option. Cause we start out with five health. Um, so if we have six options, then we wouldn't hit this last one. Okay, so we have wavy here. So let's go with shaky here. S H K. Here, here. Okay, so then rainbow is gonna be our W. Let's 
stop auto correcting me. So we take that. Um, we put that there. Beautiful. Um, so let's see how this looks. So we should get color one, that purple. Then we get color two, this nice blue teal kind of color. Should get color three, that peach we did. Awesome. Okay, so then this is wavy. Amazing, more health. Let's see what shaky looks like. Ooh, <laughs> okay, with that effect, it does not seem like I'm glowing with health. It seems like I'm about to die. Um, <laughs> okay, well, let's uh, bring it home with the rainbow. Okay, that's perfect. If you're making a game for Pride Month, I realize that now it is July, but next year, baby, use the rainbow effect. That's so fun. And it just, yeah, it just keeps going with the rainbow until you have full health, okay. Man, that totally kills the vibe when you have full health after the rainbow. That's just such a letdown. Um, but anyway, so that that's different text effects in Bitsy. So go play around with these, see what you can come up with with your game, um, and go make something fun.